Hello everyone, I'm Molly. I'm Martin. Welcome to Living Bird Kids TV. Hello Molly, I have a question. Today my friend had a fight with someone and told him some very mean things. Oh no, that doesn't sound good, Martin. Well, it's getting better slowly. My friend feels sorry for what he said. That's good, but did he ask for forgiveness? Mm, not yet. He feels like God will never forgive him from his fight. What? That's no true. I know. God will always forgive us, but he doesn't know. Molly, do you know any story in the Bible that could help me? Hmm. Oh yeah. How can we forget the parable of the prodigal son? The parable of what? It's one of the best examples of God's forgiveness. So, you know we have things like plastic, cardboard, and paper. Yeah, and did you know they can all be recycled? Right. Nowadays, we can take all that stuff and make them new when we recycle them. That's right. But how is this close to the parable of the prodigal son? A lot, actually. The parable of the prodigal son is about being renewed and forgiven. Just like these recyclable items, you can become renewed and get a second chance. The prodigal son in this parable was made into something new, just like recycling. He decided to leave his father and waste his money on lots of parties. He even partied so much he ended up poor and fed pigs. What? That sounds awful! And what did his father do when he came back? You'd be very surprised. When the prodigal son came back, his father didn't yell at him or even scold him. His father received his son with his arms wide open and forgave him. Even though he wasted so much money? Yes, his father gave him a second chance. Because of his father's forgiveness, he was renewed. Wow, that sounds just like what God does for us. Because it is. Martin, God can forgive your friend and renew him into a brand new person. Their fight was just a mistake, and we all make mistakes. Tell your friend the parable of the prodigal son. God is waiting for him with his arms wide open. I will. God is always willing to renew us. I have a verse to remember. What is it? It's Ephesians 4.32. And be kind to one another, tender heart, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Yes, that's an excellent Bible verse. You will always be forgiven no matter what. Game.
Let's see if we can remember what we learned. Time for a pop quiz. What story did we talk about? A. The parable of the seeds. B. The parable of the lamp. Or C. The parable of the prodigal son. The answer is C. The parable of the prodigal son. Who did the prodigal son leave? A. His brother. B. His father. Or C. His wife. The answer is B. His father. What did the prodigal son eat when he was poor? A. Pig food. B. Sheep food. Or C. Cow food. The answer is A. The pig food. What verse do we use to remember God's forgiveness? A. Ephesians 6 5. B. Ephesians 1 3. Or C. Ephesians 4 32. The answer is C. Ephesians 4 32. Last question Who forgives just like the son's father? A. Your father. B. God or C. The pigs? The answer is B. God. Woo! That was easy! I know! You did great! And so did you! Molly, I think I'm going to tell my friend about the problem now. Thanks for your help! No problem, Martin. But before you leave, let's give God a prayer. Repeat the prayer with us. Dear God, thank you for your amazing love and forgiveness. Thank you for making us new. In Jesus' name, Amen. Oh, thanks for praying with me, Martin. No problem, Molly. And remember, God will always forgive you of your mistakes. <laughs>